Hello and welcome to episode 27 of our Timberborn Update 5 Iron Teeth Mega Build playthrough here, cycle 36 of day 1. Last time, we had a whole bunch of fun messing with all this stuff. Uh, deleted all of our wood production facilities up here and started transitioning this area into food production. And we moved most of that stuff down either to our body McBotville or our as of yet unnamed uh, third district here. Uh, pull for that should be going up in uh, the next couple of days, possibly uh, possibly by the time this episode's out. I'm not entirely sure, but um, we will be able to vote for a name on this district and soon for the other half of our, uh, our area here once we get everything else cleared out. Like I said in the last episode, uh, I do want the train to go all the way around this second ring and haul materials between the two uh, lower... Uh, districts here. Obviously, this is not developed yet, but that is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be splitting this into kind of two equal halves. Uh, obviously, District 3 will be this half, and then there will be uh, the gates here in the corner, and then this corner will be another district hub for, I guess, what will be District 4, which, of course, will have to be named as well, but uh, that will all come in due time. We did place a couple of tracks just to uh, get started. I don't remember where it was, actually. Maybe uh, maybe over here? Yeah, and they actually built them. Uh, the straight train tracks. And the reason we didn't do everything that we possibly could with the trains last time was because we didn't have enough planks, and that was a, a big focus of the previous episode. Uh, now that we do have planks, we can probably continue building a lot of this stuff. Uh, I'm not going to promise that the trains are going to be running this episode again, because it does take a very long time to build a system of this scale. And there's other things in place too, like, you know, not having two separate districts to connect them together without doing a whole bunch of nonsense. But we will be gradually working toward that and figuring out our other problems. Also, uh, let's not forget, we want to use the steel bridges with tracks already integrated and not build it piecemeal. Uh, these do consume science. At the larger lengths, we will have to have two 5 by ones to bridge this gap, for, for example. Uh, so we will have to put in number crunchers, and all sorts of other stuff, and that's going to require us to be making more power in the first place. So it's kind of one of those things that is just constantly evolving, and we're always going to need to be able to find solutions for stuff. So uh, again, big work in progress. We're going to be taking care of it as best we can as we continue moving along here. So uh, we did the very last thing we put in last episode was all these fermenters, and we should be back on track at least a little bit for getting all of our food storage ramped up uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, but we have a bunch of stuff on the ground still and it looks like this is mostly really pine resin. I might just delete that, honestly. We have so much of it stored up. Um, explosives, again, um, we have enough. I just wanna make sure there's not anything that we're gonna be uh, regretting getting rid of. I see a bunch of soybeans here, mushrooms, um, no storage available. So we're going to need to, somewhere over here, figure out some sort of a food storage situation. Uh, obviously, we have the raw materials up here. We've got eggplants. We've got canola seeds. I have another huge thing for canola seeds. So we can keep these farms churning. Uh, corn over here. And then we have all of this set for algae. But we have some space to store some larger quantities of other things. I didn't necessarily want to have them split up all over the place, but I think it would be smart for us to actually, you know, take this a little bit more seriously and get some stuff organized in a slightly better manner. So uh, I believe we will go ahead and do just that. Let's take a look at our ingredient storage here. Uh, algae again, not a problem. We have 1800 storage for that. Canola seeds or canola oil. I'm sorry. We have 6900 storage for canola oil. I think we're going to be fine. 2,400 canola seeds, no storage for cassavas outside of the buildings that process them. Uh, coffee beans, I am completely unconcerned about coffee. Um, corn, 1290. Why is it 1290? Do I have three small ones somewhere? I have to. I have to have three small ones somewhere. We're going to have to find that. Um, I guess. Eggplants, 1200. Mushrooms, 800. We actually have mushroom storage? Where? Oh, it's underneath this. Of course. Okay, I had forgotten that was a thing. And that's, oh, that's why we have so much algae storage. Uh, but that's all going to go away because these hypoponic, hydroponic gardens are going to be placed on the top of these. Uh, I'm going to put another set of these uh, water wheels here. And then we'll figure out uh, how to get power connected to all of them. 
Uh, but these guys are going to move out of here, mostly because it's too much of a pain to try and get the uh, the paths and the water wheels to play nice with each other. And also because that's going to put them closer to uh, where the beavers are. Why are we... Uh, why are we out of water over here? Are these... Alright, this is like a game I play every single time with these things. Are these open? Yes. Is this... Why is this still open all the way? Okay, that is not something that needs to be open. Um, high contamination. I guess it's detected contamination still? No. So what's, uh, what's up with that? This guy has not... Okay. Did, did I did I set this wrong? Height above high contamination zero. Oh oh, is this disabled during the drought? Is that what this is? Why now? Why did I do this? Why did I do that? None of these are okay. All right. Well, I guess that's going to solve that problem real quick. How random to just come up. Okay. Now why is that not? Um, did I do a stupid? I don't know. These automated. Floodgates always completely just destroy my brain. I don't know why. So well, no, okay, now wh why why is it like this? Oh, okay. I have this set wrong. Low threshold contamination, high threshold. Man, you know what? <laughs> this is what a pain in the butt. Okay, that's what that looks like. That's okay. Below low contamination just needs to be changed up to uh, to one percent. I don't know why that was at zero percent. That's so weird. Anyway, now we can actually have water here. I don't know how that happened. But uh, let's get that turbo mode engaged so we can take care of everything else. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think it would be smart for us to just put in a whole bunch more of these uh, large storages. We are growing a lot of cassava over here. So this can be our raw cassava storage, uh, which is that guy. The soybean situation, I guess, uh, from how this is set up, is going to have to go here. And then uh, kohlrabis, I have... How do I have 3,200 kohlrabi storage? Oh, that's right, because they don't need to be processed. They're, they're stored up here. Okay. So that'll actually work out really nice. I can put the soybean storage right here as soon as we move stuff. This obviously has not been uh, correctly connected. Thank you, lag. Yeah, so we'll get that situated. And now... Um, yeah, I, we don't really need to worry about the food if I uh, get rid of these, but I think it's probably going to be smarter uh, for us to build the replacement for this first before the uh, before the chaos occurs. And I'm not going to need to worry about harnessing any more power from upstairs here because we're already, already generating plenty of power, although these aren't connected to anything over here. Why... Okay, so this is just connected. That's connected to the outside. This is not connected. Not connected to the up here. I th oh, that's what I was going to do. <laughs> I was I was going to have this whole thing be connected to power, but I didn't uh, didn't get that done. So let's slow this down so we have a, a fighting chance of, you know, actually uh, having anything done here. Uh, pop that right there. And then I do remember I was going to have this uh, to go across the way here to connect to additional stuff there. So let's take a look at our power shaft bridges. That is not quite long enough. I could I could just do this, honestly. Uh, the six span. Oh, that's going to be perfect. Just do that right there. That means I can get rid of there. There. That, I think, is going to look pretty cool. We'll, uh, we'll take care of that. Put the universal here and then a uh, three power shaft. But that, we'll get that connected to the side here. And... Oh, you know what? I immediately just figured out I was an idiot. All right, let's um, <laughs> let's put this exactly back the way I had it. I know it's not a, not an exciting, uh, not an exciting thing to have to redo. But uh, five span, four span. There we go. Uh, the reason that has to be that way is because <laughs> this has to be connected to it, and uh, the the method and strategy that I've used to do this is not exactly. Uh, shall we say, not exactly the greatest one here. So, uh, all this that I said, oh yeah, we'll keep that, because that looks cool. No, it's got to go away. <laughs> got to go away, we've got to redo it. So, the uh, the boring solution is, is going to be 
to have uh, have this set up like so, and that's going to be. Hey, we can use the power shaft bridge though. That's going to be uh, it's going to be cool. <laughs> we'll just put that there, and then I will have to. Uh, uh, I think they can build that from there. They should be able to. This will get used as a universal. That will get used as a uh, doohickey here. Very scientific term. Um, then that can go to be... I'll just go ahead and make it a four-way. Just for the sake of, you know, actually getting that to work. And then that, since that is a universal, can just plug in directly to... Another straight shaft here, and then a four-way in case we ever need to uh, expand that. Anyway, that will get this all connected, going through here, and then go across in case we want to duplicate that on the other side. So, that's nice. That's going to work out quite well. Uh, this is already immediately filled up with cassava, and uh, so on and so forth. But, uh, what I was going to do... Let's get this all hooked up appropriately here. Uh, we cannot build directly on top of the uh, irrigation barriers. We will have to have the blank here. So uh, it's not going to be possible for these to be low enough to effectively use with this pathway. But that's also not connected to anything anyway. I don't know why those still there, actually. That doesn't need to be. They can't walk on it. I don't think it matters, but we'll, we'll just go ahead and get rid of that anyway. So uh, this will be doubles. We'll go ahead and do, I guess, six. Six of these here. And then that can be here. And what that will do is that will allow us to place hydroponic gardens here, 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 and here. And then we can immediately hook those up to these ladders here. That will be nice and easy. And we're not going to have power coming out past here anyway, so that will be fine. The ladder usage right there is going to make a whole lot of sense. And it also expands upwards, so that will be easy to use in that regard as well. So let's go ahead and actually think about how we want to... I guess that has to go that way. Is that how I did that one, or is that uh, turned around? Yeah, let's um, let's just rotate this while we're here. Yeah, so we have four here, and right now I have 16 of these. Uh, I'm not going to build this that high. I will just have to double stack this, and we'll expand this uh, back down this way, but I figured it would be a little a uh, little easier a little faster to just go ahead and have this uh, Set up like so and of course we'll follow that with another set of the platforms here And get this hooked up and then of course we're going to have to have another uh, water tank easily accessible which I will probably uh, end up putting maybe right here actually to make this another set of ladders. Paste that that way. That should work out just fine. Uh, the reason I'm putting another water storage here is because these things consume an unbelievable amount of water. We'll do the same thing right here. Get this all uh, hooked up. Probably have them build the ladders first because this is such a pain uh, to have these guys routed around everywhere. But it's going to make sense when that's all said and done. This needs to be set to water. And water, obtain, obtain, that's already was selected. So that should, in addition to increasing our capacity, should ensure these guys never become a problem for anything else. And that, of course, is going to take quite a while to get done. So we'll let them do that. And then we'll come back and add a second bank of those. But we also have to select our, uh, our strategy here. Mushrooms on this side. I'm not going to be able to tab my way out of this, am I? Uh... I guess I have to come in from the side here. Uh, yeah, we'll do mushrooms. Actually, we'll do floor by floor. That's probably probably smarter. Mushrooms on the bottom floor, algae on the top. And then they can eventually, once we have all our paths in place, they can follow the convention that we've set up here and then just go directly to uh, deposit or extract as necessary. And then, of course, algae on the top floor. I think this is going to work out quite nicely once that's all said and done uh, and of course once these get caught up we'll have things looking substantially better and this corner can become more food factories if we need it if not uh, we can just plant more stuff but for right now i'm going to leave uh, at least the warehouses on the bottom and we'll take these out once the replacements get built so back to turbo speed for that one 
And I believe we have some extra bots to allocate. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, I got eight extras. So you know what that means? It means District 3 gets another 10 to its minimum. And we'll check out our situation. 17 empty jobs. Vacant jobs, not empty jobs. Well, same difference. Uh, three. I have three unemployed bots, really? In this district? How does that work? I uh, probably need to start bot automating certain stuff. Man, this frame rate's horrible. <laughs> Is it? It's actually gotten substantially worse since I've started improving things. I don't really, uh, don't really know why that's a thing. Well, I'm also making it substantially more complicated. Uh, but one of the things I said last time we were going to have to start doing is uh, generating more science. And I mentioned that at the, the beginning of this episode as well. So we're going to need to take a look. Yeah, we are actually not making enough power. So uh, let's let's solve one problem before we solve another. Let's build some more engines here. Because now that we actually have a decent amount of metal being made, we can construct things that require it. So we'll do that. We'll have to remember to set these all as prioritized by haulers. Uh, each set of four of these adds 1,600 HP to the power generation. Oh, this doesn't have any at all. Okay, wow. We'll uh, certainly have to take advantage of that. But we have all this wood here, and it's such a shame not to use it, especially since they made the <laughs> they made these things so much easier to use. I, oh, man, I, I cannot express to you how happy I am that they have vastly improved the usefulness of the engines. Yeah, so let's just make sure these are all prioritized by haulers. You know what? We're not cavemen. We have technology. I can just uh, go to global view, go to engines, and just hit this. Instead of hearing that sound like 800 times until I hear it in my sleep, we will slowly and laggily scroll down here. Wait. Oh, no. The engines don't show up as workplaces anymore. No, no. I have to click them all. <sighs> well, I guess I, I guess I can pause, but... Mechanistry, I know you don't watch my videos, but if you do, please, please allow us to turn building sounds off. It's, oh, it's so annoying. Yeah, we, we do have to wait for those to actually get built before we can turn those off. But that, that should help us, hopefully. Because I noticed these were not spinning. Yeah, they're completely dead. Yeah, we, we are extracting a lot of demand. Probably because we keep building all this pesky processing power that's requiring a bunch of uh, bunch of other stuff. So let's see, we're working on this here, waiting on gears. But we have a storage for gears, so when I know they can import it, it just might take it a little bit of a little bit of time, just a little bit. So I think that's going to be nice once we finally get this in place. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a mess to clean up. Let me tell you. It's going to be a going to be a, a whole lot of stuff, but uh, what's on the ground here? Pine resin. Yep. Okay. I'm just going to get I'm going to get rid of the pine resin, the explosives. We have we have so much of it. Not going to lose any sleep over that. Yeah. Tons of explosives. Tons of explosives. What's this? Bad water again. Tons of that. Tons of that. Explosives. 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 How many explosives do I have over here? Explosives. Again, we have twelve hundred. Explosives. I don't need to save these. It's fine. Pine resin, pine resin, pine resin, and bad water. Pine resin, pine water, pine water, bad resin. There you go. Ooh, poisoned pine trees could make it. That's a great idea. If you had trees that would keep growing in the bad water, but what they produced was vastly different in fun ways. Like poison pine sap could be used as some sort of, I don't know, this game doesn't have combat, doesn't have enemies, but... That seems like it would be a cool thing to use in, like, I don't know, weaponry or something. Mushrooms, not going to get rid of those. Uh, soybeans, not going to get rid of those. I mean, it, I don't think it really matters, but uh, they'll come pick this up off the ground. All right, well, that that should help a little bit, getting some of that garbage off the ground. Uh, get the rest of these things built, and then we'll, uh, we'll see what happens here. Are we... Nope, we're still not making enough power to charge these. All right, um... Those are prioritized. Oh, I hate listening to this sound so much. Those are both done. Okay. Oh, man. Is there anything else that I can do? I, oh, I got 10, 10 unemployed bots. 
Let's go uh, go around the long way again. Seven. Guess what that means? Another ten. I'm you know I'm just gonna bump this up to 150 so they just all go until all these spots are filled. I think that should take care of. Okay, that bot died. Yeah. Now 150 will give us actually a few extra. So that's good. Uh, this district also needs to have grease. I gotta find a place to put grease as an import. I guess you know what. Uh, we have our canola oil here because we have to send that down there to make the grease. Why don't we just go ahead and build ourselves another uh, another extension here and just have some grease. Right like so. Get that set up to be there. That's grease. Same thing on this side. Uh, we can put it in the middle because the falling the falling water does not affect. Uh, Thank you, lag poisoning. I don't know why my brain has to lag when the the game does, but you know how this goes. Uh, yep, flop that around. Wait, hold on. Oh, I did. Okay, I did do that intentionally. That's that's good. All right, so that's gonna help uh, us have some grease accessible. Because I think that probably is uh, adversely uh, affecting these guys. Uh, we also need to put in uh, control towers. This middle district does not have any. So we've got to figure out some good places to pop those in. I could could just be boring and put them down here, but I don't, I don't think I don't think they care if they get wet. But um, that's not going to hit all those buildings. Did I actually already solve this? I think I might have, but... Uh, I will put one there, one here, one here, and one here to start, and we'll see. Because this is this is where most of the development of this district is anyway. Most of the bots are gonna have to be going through, but that will cover that. That will cover okay. Well, most of that. that that's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. You don't have to have complete coverage, but uh, oh, you know what would be really tempting is to put it here because of the. Uh, the tooth grindstone, but it's not going to be lined up. Eh, you know what? I don't think I care. <laughs> that's that's going to work out just fine. That's actually a much smarter uh, place to put those. But the thing that we have to be careful with is each of these do use a considerable amount of uh, science. Each one of those is three per hour, and there are 24 hours in a day. So each one of these, 72 science per day. Now, we have 21,000 of it, but... Um, if these are each using 72, and I just put six in, uh, you can very quickly see that that's going to be a problem. Also, there's stuff down here. So I think, yeah, well, we need to generate more power first, but we also need to be uh, generating more science with the number crunchers. But these use 500 apiece. So we are really, really going to have to have more power before we build any of those. But just so you know, it is it is in my mind, and I am attempting to be good. I'm attempting to know what I'm doing here. Uh, results may vary, but we're going to get there. All right, so this is still waiting on gears. Um, our gear situation is looking fine, but I think our problem might be there's no intermediary storage for those uh, coming out of... Uh, coming out of this district or uh, being made in this district. There's no there's no actual storage in this district for the gears. So we probably should have one of those, especially since they're, you know, actually making them here. So let's see, where can I get away with putting pine resin, berries? Okay, we were, we were definitely growing those there. That's fine. Um, tell you what. This is a good place to put storage. So I will just have... Because this is going to be... Yeah, this is not going to be the, uh, the... What do you call it? Storage. So that's going to be here. I'll just go ahead and build a couple of these. Uh, one can be for gears. And what else are we going to be able to store in one of these? In this district. I don't think we need to worry about the... Uh, well, really anything else, honestly. I'll just make a bunch of gear storage. Who cares? <laughs> Why not? That'll be A-OK. -okay. Let's go the wrong way around the map again. Uh, but hopefully that's going to allow the bots to work a little bit better. Now that we have, uh, looks like some grease coming in here. That's looking good. Uh, progress is being made here, albeit slowly. Now, how are we doing here? Cassava's not completely full storage. 
Uh, but we do have room to put some soybeans if we are actually able to build storage. So that's one of those things we have to uh, get rid of these guys. I've got these separated by side here. It looks like we've got... Is this all algae? Okay, well, since we've just built all the mushrooms, guess what? You know, I actually could have checked to see if they were going to be finished anytime soon. But that one's not. So I can at least let these two finish. Uh, there are some mushrooms left in the rubble, I suppose. Uh, but we for sure can go ahead and take... Uh, well, I got to leave that in place. But I know I can get rid of this platform here. That doesn't need to be there. Uh, that ladder does not need to be there. That ladder does not need to be there. Uh, that is no longer watered. Why? Why is that no longer watered? Is that because I got rid of the the ladder? No, they can still they can still access. Oh no, they can't because this now no longer has a path. Okay, well we'll we'll hook that back up. We'll let them uh, we'll let them finish that. Now, but this storage, the mushroom storage, I did say I was going to leave in place, and we will do that. Uh, this, we just kind of gently remove. Uh, this, I guess, is the entrance on this side? Oh, it sure is. All right, guess what? That doesn't need to be here either. All right, cool. Uh, we can get rid of that nice and easy. Nice and easy there. All right, cool. That's going to make things a lot easier. Mmm, lag, yes. Beautiful. Okay, so that can be left alone just like so. Uh, we will still need these platforms here to build on top of at least these right here. Uh, so we will go ahead and put those in place. Uh, this is still a regular platform, so that's fine. Uh, we just need to make sure we have room to build everything else. 87% uh, rest assured as soon as this says zero, it's going bye-bye. But I can uh, make a little bit of room here. Oh, these haven't been built yet. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I did a dumb. The cultivation halt of the crop will soon die. We'll stop being dramatic and just build the platforms. It's going to be fine. Uh, oh, it's, it's lagging. All right. Fine. Fine. I'll put the path back in. I'll just delay what I was going to try and do to appease these mushrooms. 84%, 87. All right, so we can uh, we can kind of leave those alone for a little while. Uh, but now let's check on these guys. Anyone uh, 3%? All right, we're not going to not going to wait for that. 32%. Again, please let me turn off building sounds. 20%, 18%, 11%. All right, so those are going to go a little while longer, but Oh, never mind. Those are the longer ones. 280, 288 hours. Excuse me. I think uh, we might end up just demolishing these anyway. But we're not hard up for them right now. So uh, I think we'll be okay to just leave them and uh, replace them when the time comes. So that's, uh, that's rubble. Planks I probably should keep. I don't have storage for, so I guess I could uh, either build more stuff that requires planks and then they'll eventually pick it up or we'll just build more storage. But this does need to get set to algae, and that will finally give us uh, a lot more space up here. But these eventually will go away. Don't worry, we'll get that taken care of. It's just gonna take a little bit of time. So let's give them something to do with all these planks. Let's uh, continue building our platforms here. We'll make another six deep. And then this, of course, will have to go this way and then I believe I'm going to want to do this as another set of ladders would make the most sense, but we can wait a little bit to put those in. That will go here. Yeah, because that's going to cut off entrance to this campfire, and we can just wait until everything else is taken care of. So we'll do our pathway in here. Pathway in here, we can actually build on top of that and then connect everything later. Nice and streamlined, just the way we like it. All right, so that's going to take a little bit of time to get done. But I think we're looking okay. 97%. Our national nightmare is almost over. 0%. All right, that one's done. <laughs> See ya. 
go do something else. Uh, we'll get rid of this. No, I want the path, not the platform, not the rubble. All right, that's going to work out quite nicely. This will be a big storage. I believe we decided this was going to be uh, soybeans, which we can do right here. I'll give them lots of nice storage to pick up those soybeans off the ground. Uh, yep, they're right here. They'll get that taken care of, hopefully, uh, in a pretty, pretty reasonable amount of time. And yeah, stuff is looking quite nice. I see we have three unemployed bots. I think that's just these guys, which means the others are going to be in equilibrium. So that's promising. Very good to see that. We are looking good, folks. We have 22,000 food stored, thanks to our improvements in our processing, which I believe means we can... Uh, Continue looking into ways to boost our beaver population. Although maybe we uh, maybe we don't want to boost it too hard, too fast. That could uh, could end up being a mistake. But this is really coming together quite nicely. Uh, we can also double stack our storage of algae here and then put mushrooms on top. That probably would be smart, considering this will be eight, so 1600, 1600. And we already have the uh, the ladders here, so we know we can just expand that upwards as well. So let's do that. We have the technology. Rotate, rotate. And of course we still have to build the fourth side as well, but this will be nice, uh, nice even stuff going on here. I do need to, before we get started with that, remove the paths from on top of the ladders so I can continue to uh, uh, get these popped in. This is kind of hard to do it maximum speed but I do not want to slow this down because then we aren't going to get anything uh not going to get anything accomplished that takes so long to get these bots done all right so that will be fine there uh what direction did I have the ladders facing I'm gonna have to because these are interconnected they're gonna have to face outside I think uh, but I don't have any paths going a specific way No, you know what? You know what? This is exactly why the interior ladder exists. I, d I did not need to do it this way. We can use our brains, friends. Okay, so these can be rotated to where it's facing the inside just fine, and that's not going to affect anything. And then uh, I don't have to make these ladders. I can just make these regular platforms. Just like that. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. Well, I mean, it's objectively not, but uh, it is satisfying, I guess I should say, to uh, see it work in such a nice and convenient way. All right, so this is going to be mushrooms. Let's put our mushrooms in place. Mm -mm, mm -mm. There we go. So uh, this is now at zero. That means it goes bye bye. Anybody over here? Or are you all at about 50%? Okay. That or a bit less. So they can take care of all of that. Progress looking good here. Mm, yes. Thank you, lag. All right. Um, hydroponic gardens. It's already faced that way. So we'll just do these four, have them set appropriately. There we go. At least it doesn't make noise when it hasn't been built yet. Okay, mushrooms on the bottom, algae on top. And then if we need to, we can expand this and duplicate it uh, on the other four sides. But I think for right now, uh, this one spot will be fine. I cannot imagine a scenario in which we will need more than 16 of these. Unless the consumption actually is that much higher. At uh, that higher of a... Uh... Wait, did I not connect? Looks like I didn't. Missed a path. There we go. All right, that's looking good. Uh, I will now go ahead and uh, do one at a time. Our ladder this way, rotate so we can actually get in. That'll work out for the best there. And then we'll do the other side. I just want them to be able to actually, you know, get through this without having to go all the way around the whole map. Uh, we actually... This might be adequate, this section right here. I probably am still going to duplicate it on the other side just for the sake of uh, the uh, symmetry aspect of it. But I think 
That's going to work out very well. And I have another idea here for a compact oil press. Just rotate this guy. And then we don't have to have the path coming out this way. We can just have it go out like so. It is going to look a little strange with that thing being rotated 90 degrees, but that will allow us to plant a whole bunch more. And I think that's going to be worth it. So that'll get us back up to four. Our oil reserves to this point have been very useful, but uh, we very clearly are using it faster than we could possibly make it. So that's going to help us out. And if we need to add more of those in later, we certainly can. We just have to uh, know when to do that and when to uh, not. I, I know these are not going to be any closer, but I still have to check. 50, 58, 59%. Okay. Progress is being made. We're harvesting the... Uh, Soybeans slowly getting that taken care of. But it looks like we're in really, really good shape on all of our raw ingredients for food. Soybeans, obviously, I have to continue being harvested to get that filled up. Everything is looking really, really good. And I think we now have the water and the food infrastructure to probably support hmm, five, 600 beavers reliably. Maybe, just a, uh, a guess. But obviously, we, uh, we don't have that many, and we're not going to until we have everything else uh, situated to support and maybe some other stuff optimized so the frame rate doesn't completely go into the toilet here. All right, how are we looking? Uh, we still have... It seems like we're actually... Oh, we have 36 incapacitated bots. Oh, wait, we do not have... We do not have enough uh, charging stations in enough spots, it seems, in uh, this uh, middle district here. So let's see, is there anywhere... Uh, I hadn't connected this because I wanted that to be uh, accessible here. Why in the world did I do this like this? So this actually was incorrect. But until we have to actually put this in, it's not going to matter. Uh, I'll just build two more of those there. I don't know why I put the outside one first. Uh, but this eventually is going to be trained, so we don't want to mess with that too much in terms of having access to chargers. Uh, maybe... Oh no, this is actually, this is a simple problem to solve. Let us turn this around. For right now, at least. And um, not build this, not build this. We just have to do the, uh, the old one-two switcheroo here. If the game doesn't crash, there we go. Yeah, come come get these, uh, come get these rebels here. No storage space available, alright. Goodbye then. Bad tide approaching. All right. Let's do this. Put those two things in, and then I can pop in another charger here. And then probably, just for the sake of the beavers congregating here in the uh, the corner with the district center, uh, as a couple of you noted in the comments, the, uh, the bots do that when they're out of power. So why don't we go ahead and just, simple solution, just build an engine right here with a whole bunch of chargers, and that should uh, should allow them to do that. One engine can support eight, and that's, I think, going to be a pretty easy thing for us to accomplish. Just got to get uh, that taken care of. So um, I'll just pick a nice spot, maybe right here to do that, and then uh, eight around the outside. We have space for, I believe, nine like this. So that's going to be six. Seven, eight, nine. It's better to have the nine than to uh, have eight, at least in my symmetry-minded opinion. So that's going to work out, uh, hopefully, <laughs> solve that problem there. And then we'll just have to continue uh, doing similar things as we uh, continue building stuff. I know we have chargers up here. Uh, we've got chargers up here. But the uh, intermediary spaces, like right here, right here, don't have anything on their side. So that's probably uh, probably something we could look into improving. But if they're out of power and they come down here anyway, then they're going to want to have access to uh, to chargers in that exact same spot. So that's going to be fine. Okay, those are already prioritized. What about these? No, but we'll get that taken care of. Yes, I love hearing the same sound over and 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 over again. Yes, I love not being able to mute the building sounds without muting the whole game.
Alright, those are already done except that one and that one. I know I didn't click it, we'll have to go back. Oh, I'm so tired of hearing that sound. Stop it! Alright. Hopefully this uh, solves our problems here. I, oh god, I gotta click this again. Um, okay, I already, I already, already did that. Now haulers. Wait. We, oh, it's because all, the, all the, uh, all the bots are, uh, are out. Did I set all those hauling posts to one? Oh, this side doesn't have one. Uh, I probably should fix that. Yeah, I, uh, I did that because we didn't have a, <laughs> we didn't have enough bots. Well, you know what that means, kids. It means we've got to absolutely uh, come in here and pump those numbers up. We don't have, uh, we don't have extra bots currently, but we're gonna. Gonna get there, gonna get there. I would very much explain why these are not being supplied. Yeah, because if we have uh, yeah, 36 incapacitated bots, that is absolutely the fault of not having haulers. So I'm, I'm glad we caught that. That was gonna be a, uh, a challenge to take care of otherwise. Yeah, it's, it's probably going to take a little while for that to uh, catch back up, but they should they should be able to uh, slowly start coming back. Uh, yeah, you can see our number of science points has gone down considerably. We need to put those... Uh, what, are they, what are they called? I don't remember. Uh, stupid things that I hated to build because they sucked up power. Number crunchers! Yikes. I am not old enough to be having this much memory loss, but that's fine. Uh, we <laughs> we have uh, plenty of uh, bot stuff getting taken care of here. We just need to power all of it. And I guess... I guess I probably should have something else over here. If this is going to be trains anyway, I guess it doesn't really matter. That should be fine. Um, we already have plenty of treated planks, but I want to plan for having more wood workshops here. One, two, three, four. Four more will fit, so we'll have six. And then we'll have to have uh, power come around that way. But uh, we can simulate that by just doing this. <laughs> Easy. Easy. And then at the very end, we can put in a charging... Maybe we shouldn't do a charging station like that. Maybe we should do it like this. Uh, but we'll do... Uh, we'll do that guy right there. Well, that's not going to get built first anyway, but I do need to make sure that goes in. Uh, I always want to do this one for the 90 degree turn because it's a flat, like a top down. And this one I always think is the vertical one because it's, uh, anyway. It's fine. <laughs> I'll just build maybe another four of those right there just so we have some more chargers over here on this side. And then we'll get everything taken care of eventually. Alright, so now we have seven incapacitated. Three unemployed. That's a whole lot better. I don't think we can really churn bots out any faster than we already are with how this is set up. Uh, down here in Body McBotville, we have... Uh, you know, our, our gear numbers are going down substantially. Is that because we've just been building a bunch of gear-related stuff up top and they've been exporting them, or are we actually in danger here? Okay, no, they're going back up. I think we're probably going to be fine. All right, these blasted things, 95%, 96%, 89, 86, 85, 97. Ugh, oh, please let me turn off building sounds. If you are a modder and you know how to do that and you want to make a mod that turns off building sounds, go right ahead. I will absolutely install it <laughs> and, I, and I will use it very, very gladly. All right, so a 288-hour cycle on this at 97% means it's probably going to be another, uh, probably going to be another day, maybe, ish, most of a day until that's going to be complete, and then we can start getting rid of these guys. They haven't quite finished putting the replacements in. Oh no, they have. I just haven't built the, <laughs> haven't built the other four. All right, well that's um, that's on me. Let's not food factory. Let's pause this just so I can put these in place. Bottom ones are supposed to be mushrooms. Top one's supposed to be algae. Easy problem solve. I'm going to keep myself honest here. 
All right, and the bad tide is about to be here. Again, we don't need to worry about it because we have had everything automated quite nicely for quite some time. How many days? Nine days. Cultivation halted. Why? Is that because it's out of water? But we have plenty of water. What's up, SJ? Why are you? Uh, why have you halted your cultivation? All right, never mind. That's that's been fixed. All right, now as long as we're not flooding with our bad water, I thought I saw at the very end of the last episode. I thought I saw one of these buildings up here flood, but I'm not sure what it would have been. Well, I don't see it flooding now, so I guess it's fine. Nothing to see here. All right, that one just finished, and that one just finished. That's done. That one's at ninety percent. This one just finished. 94%, 78, 91. All right, so that's going to give us a little bit of an escape here. Oh, they actually picked up all the stuff off the ground. Nice. Uh, let's get rid of those paths, just because we don't need those. And we'll go back and grab that one last spot there. All right, so that hopefully is uh, a little bit of an improvement. Any other stray paths we can uh, get rid of? I don't think so in the upper level. They're all pretty, uh, pretty important here. Uh, what we can do and probably should do is build more of our recreational things that we had kind of started right here. And I, I know I did say, I think last episode I mentioned that we had to, uh, had to put some motivatoriums in, but I, <laughs> I got to figure out where they're going to go. Maybe since we have the power kind of already over here, maybe I could put some like right here, but I thought we were going to actually, you know, do, uh, do planting over here. We might not need to. We might already have plenty of space uh, for planting. We could just put, a, I don't know, a ton of motivatoriums here. But we, we need to do something with those things. They just have to go on the ground and they are 5x5. Five five. Yeah, like the dance halls. The same, basically the same building with a, a slight model change. So now this has uh, bench seating in the 1984 style uh, mind control kind of thing. It's going to get played on there. That's fine. I don't have to watch it. Uh, mud baths as well are going to need a place to go. But I do think I kind of like this setup. With the uh, the wind tunnel and the Ferris wheel like this. Uh, let me refresh my memory of how I connected these. Um, oh, okay, cool. Yeah, that was absolutely a super easy thing. Why did I not think of doing that already? All right, can I? I'm going to go back to single time speed just so I can actually, you know, run this thing. Um, yeah, we'll put that uh, lag. We'll put that in the uh, white. Oh, I have to unpause that. Oh, yikes. All right. There we go. Yeah, so that's got to be right here. Nice and easy to access. Uh, universal. That is... Uh, I'm just going to get rid of that. Easier for everybody involved. That can go there. And then we can come in with our double platforms and do a whole bunch of double platforming. How did I have this set up? Okay, another five by nice and easy. And then a connector bit here. And then I think I had a clock. Is that what I did is I put a clock here? All right, well, that works. Uh, what's the face facing? There we go. And then the uh, wind tunnel was on the outside, I think. Oh, no, I made a mistake. <laughs> Imagine that. I never make mistakes. Spoiler alert, I make mistakes frequently and with increasing severity every single time. It's actually kind of concerning, but um, that's neither here nor there. Let's put another set of double platforms in, and then there's a gap. Yep, okay. That is, I think, exactly how it's supposed to be. We're just going to pretend that that's in the center and... Uh, uh, move on with our lives. So that's hopefully going to still transmit power. Put that there. We'll put that there. And then we'll put that there. And then we'll put that there. And then I'll say that ten more times. Uh, that's fine. Decorations. Give me the clock. Perfect. Alright, so that'll give them a little bit more of a uh, opportunity to go and do all that stuff. I think, I think we're looking pretty good on most of this now. 0% goodbye. 99% almost goodbye. What's what's in here? Planks and water? Okay, we can use those. Hopefully. And then we can get rid of these uh, extraneous things. Oh, we can connect this now because these are all gone. 
Yeah, get that uh get that in here. Uh right now that's probably gonna be fine. I honestly don't think we can leave that in place. Uh I don't think we're gonna need to have any uh any more powered processing over here, so I probably will just have this so that can go straight through. Uh what's on top of this that's preventing a path? Okay. Alright, uh, I'm gonna go back to turbo speed here. Is this zero percent? Very good. That's at zero percent, and this is still at ninety, so we'll let that go just a little bit. Uh, I can now come over here, and I can get rid of this top level of path. There we go. I will leave the ladder in place because we're probably gonna want that at some point, but that can go away, and then. Um, you know the drill. I was going to do the other setup here. I just have to have the uh, platforms pushed back one spot, which I think I only have to do here. That works. Then this can all go that way just fine. And then since that's already a thing and these aren't uh, buildable anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of the path only on top of there and on top of here and then as soon as this is done I mean honestly I don't need to wait for this algae to get grown but it's already 94% you know sunk cost fallacy and all that uh, might as well make the most of my uh, derangement and <laughs> just let this finish out but we're also not really in a huge rush I mean oh wait never mind I looked over at OBS and it says 54 minutes I guess I guess we kind of are uh, just to get a little bit more of this accomplished here. But uh, how did I have that set up? That was a, a double height. Yeah, that's going to work just fine. Uh, put the double height here. Uh, that needs to go out five wide. That needs to go out like this. And then uh, another path out like this. Go ahead and do that. And then I guess I can go ahead and I can start building these uh, very slowly. Oh, thank you, lag. See, now I'm, I'm actually curious just how much more of this my computer can handle. And if it can't, then that's going to be a, it's going to be a little bit of a damper on our, uh, our dreams of having this huge, where's the algae? There we go. This huge thousand beaver colony here. That would be uh, unfortunate to have to give that one up, but uh, I guess we'll see what happens. All right, what do I not have a ton of storage of? 2,000 mushroom storage, 2,000 algae, also probably at this point. It's going to be 2,200 by the time we're done. Uh, tons of canola seed storage. We've got 1,200 for cassavas. I guess I could have a giant coffee bean storage if I really felt like it. I mean, I probably don't need it, but that's fine. Corn, eggplant. Uh, yeah, that's. I think that's like the only one that's left, and then I can move the berry storage up here too. That seems to be the, uh, the most logical thing to do. Mm, I guess it doesn't really matter where they go. I will make uh, berry stores. Where's the berries? Where's There's the berries. Set that to empty. Mm, yes, lag. 0%. Finally, goodbye. See you never. <laughs> Get out of here. Put these in here. Yes, yes, excellent. Now, the uh, the problem I'm going to run into is that because of the way I placed my uh, my ladders, maybe it doesn't care. Let's just check our alignment here. Because I thought for sure... Oh, no, this is just a regular platform. Okay, okay, good. I was about to be uh, concerned that it wouldn't uh, actually connect. But I think we're in good shape. All right, that's going to go away. That's going to go away. Look at us. Look at us go. Putting the finishing touches on this masterpiece of disaster over here. Disaster piece, masterpiece, whatever you want to call it. Uh, algae on the bottom, mushrooms on the top. Sounds like a recipe for a salad. A really weird salad. And then this guy could be for coffee beans. Where's my coffee beans? Which one of these is caught? There we go. Uh, that's going to get emptied, and then that frees up some space here. If we want to, you know, I don't know, put something else here. 
Uh, that can go away. Which means I can put something else in the corner if I wanted to. I don't know what I would, but uh, we'll get all that situated. And we're in uh, we're in pretty good shape here. I think we've uh, reconfigured most of the top level to do what we want to do. Uh, I was trying to figure out if I wanted to put another set of wheels here. I think I do, but uh, power transmission might become a problem, uh, depending on how we want to do it. I don't know. That can go away. So what's what's left here? Metal blocks? Are we really out of metal block storage? I don't believe that for a second. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I have to believe it because it's real. So power-wise, let's check our power. So I did say I wanted to do something about that. Oh, wow, we're making a lot of power. 21,000. I guess all those uh, engines came online. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Let's... Uh, how full is this? Okay, that's pretty full. This, These will power the, the network long enough for me to put another one of these flywheels in. Maybe another two? Maybe? How uh, how much how much do they take to build again? No, that's the small one. Um, do I have? I think I do. All right, friendos. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do the uh, the possibly stupid thing and uh, get rid of all of this and uh, reconnect. That power shaft turn is gonna be upgraded to a. Universal. Every time I hear that, I can't help but think of the uh, Universal Studios theme playing in my head like a stupid idiot. That's fine. Come to expect nothing less from myself. This will go here. This will go here. And this will be a beautiful disaster of nonsense. I love it. So that's uh, that's going to need access to it. So we're going to have to put in uh, some additional side platforms. I'm not going to go too wide here. I will just uh, just do one of these numbers. And then I believe ladder-wise, this should should allow me to get away with this if I uh, also put a platform next to this and I pause this construction and then prioritize the construction of the Stack. I think we can get away with that. So let's uh, let's have them do that, and then uh, we'll see what ends up happening here. Yeah. So I think uh, for the benefit of everyone's sanity, I'm going to uh, time lapse the construction of this, and uh, we'll use that as our background for our talking about what's happening lately and upcoming. So. Uh, by the time this video goes out, we'll have had a couple other ones come out that I have yet to record. Again, I was uh, out of town this past couple days, so I wanted to make sure I had you guys all cut up. But yesterday, if you did not see, yesterday, Saturday, uh, there was a video on a brand new game called United Penguin Kingdom. Please go check that out if you haven't already. Should be a whole lot of fun. And that game actually did just release yesterday uh, with the release of that video. So uh, go give that a shot. And uh, let me know what you think about that. Of course, uh, we'll be back on our regular schedule uh, with videos recorded and uploaded the night before, uh, starting on Tuesday with, depending on the uh, reception to the United Kingdom, Ping United Kingdom Penguins, yeah, United Kingdom of Penguins, United Penguin Kingdom might be another video of that, uh, but I don't know because that video hasn't come out yet as I'm recording this on Tuesday the 5th, but uh, I digress. Uh, so if you want to see more of that, please do go watch that video, let me know, and uh, we'll see if that's going to become the new uh, Tuesday-Friday series. Uh, but if not, we'll figure something else out, and of course, Prison Architect on Wednesdays, and then more of this series on Thursdays and Sundays. That's the schedule for that one. But yeah, outside of that, there's not really anything else I can think of that needs to be addressed, except for, of course, how thankful I am for you guys watching these videos and all the fantastic support you give me, as well as the Beard Boosters. You guys already know you're awesome. Uh, the support makes it possible for me to keep doing all of this fun stuff and to keep the garbage sponsorships off the channel. Uh, they, I don't even know if they're going to be reaching out anymore if I keep trash talking them that much. But uh, suffice to say, I don't want to see this stuff on here. And I know you don't either. We just want to have a good time playing games and enjoying each other's company. And hopefully that's what we're able to do. So that being said, that is all I've got for today. Uh, thanks very much for being here. 
Again, no matter uh, what it is you're doing with the rest of your day, I hope you have a fun and a safe time, and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. But until then, that's all we got. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.